Hey there, it's Potmos Sand, and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with my fun town on map 7. So we just have fun, and well, this part of town is really taking some shape now. I love it. I do want to get some extra platforms going, though, to give it more of the feel that this is just the area for the people to enjoy themselves in. And, uh, well... Here we have the primary school. Most things that we need are up, so that's already a good thing. But now we need to start focusing a bit more. We are now busy in this area. And I can see that this cow shed's already cute. But I don't really know why. So let's wait with that. Because this one is still empty. We're not having any animals yet to uh, start bringing them over to the other one. I think we will soon, though. Um, as soon as this bull reaches the age that it needs, then we can just switch it over and get a few over there. Um, because I also think that right now with only a thousand coins we need to start making some money when we can so we'll try and focus on that a little bit another thing we could do is go for a trading post in the water to actually make trading possible um, could be really interesting to do that I'm also going to hit speed 3 for a little while as we have a new family settling which is a nice family they're most welcome Ooh, we have a lot of people without a job. How is that possible? Oh, well. I guess we can put a few extra ladies in there. and We need to just find some jobs for the men. Why is this one still empty? Yeah, that should have been... Filled up with people. Alright, so most of the men jobs are done. Now, another thing that we could really use is a cart shed to help out with transport. And I actually think if we build it right here... It could really help out in the whole transporting the goods around. Which might be really beneficial. So let's go with that. Yeah, we do have a couple of mills that don't have a job yet. That's quite uh, special, actually. Now, we do have quite a few houses up. Uh, so that might be why. It's fine, though. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. It's just interesting to see that we have so many men available. Uh, could also go for another smithy, but that might be a bit early. I do want all trees removed also in this area. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to set up an extra forester right here. Should be as much in the woods as possible. Well, somewhere right here. I'm going to move this over too. Here comes another house. They're delivering the goods to this one as well. So that that's a good way to do it. So that we get a lot of houses done. And we have a visitor. That's great, because I do want to buy its stone. But I think we also have to sell some goods if we want to make decent amounts of money and continue with that. No, no textile, maybe... No, 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 no. There's nothing else we're going to sell at this... Oh, honey. Yes, we will be selling a thousand honey. And now this all paid for what we get in stone. So that's precisely what I wanted to see. But we also have to buy some iron, so... Yeah, we're going to make a little bit less money. But hopefully a messenger from their Kachi comes in soon. And if he does, we can sell him a lot of charcoal. That would work out well. And I think in the end... How many? We have 1,200 buckwheat. We have 3,000 potatoes. So yeah, there's some to spare. And we're going to get some more soon. So the focus of the town is the farm is not yet on a lot of food production. That might be something for later on. Um, I'm actually thinking of making more farm fields here and then see how far we can go and then build a farm along with it. Maybe it will be a little smaller farms in terms of the numbers of fields, but I think we can get good food out of it if we set our head to it. So that might be something to try. All right, village house is done, the well is done. They're now going to build the cart shed. Maybe that's a good moment to uh, start worrying about uh, the fields right here. 
I want to leave an opening there. I don't know why, but it feels right to have some openings up here and not just close everything off completely. All right, there we go. That's one field. Let's see how many we can actually squeeze in here. Maybe I have a better idea. Maybe we should start on this side. And then see how many we can squeeze in. I think that might actually be the better choice. That's one. I have to go to the farm, of course, every now and then. But that's okay. Two. Let's go all the way to the back. Yeah, that's almost perfect. Two. And three. Maybe we can just make the last one fit onto the next field. I don't know. Figure something out. Yay, messenger from Dekachi. Let's sell 10,000 charcoal. That'll make us 500. I think we need to buy some leather. But hey, we have the money for that now. And maybe we can also buy a few extra cows. Five and a bull. Deal. Yeah, we have the money for that too. We can actually sell them some sunflower oil. Or did we already sell that to the other one? I don't think so. Uh, we can also sell them some more honey. Alright, this is good money then. Uh, we also need to start worrying about... Those kind of things though. But yeah, this helps to make sure that we get enough shoes and stuff by buying the extra leather. Add a field. There we go. Let's add another one. So then we have already four fields. Yes. Right, I think we can do five at least. And I think we need at least six to get good crop rotations going. And I like it that there's an opening right there now. So yeah, we're just going to do it like this. Five fields. And then what we can try to do just have to see how far down it goes. Could make something of a field like this maybe? Too short. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate that this is too short. Have to apparently make it slightly longer. Too short, too short, too short. How long? Oh, it doesn't. It only needs to be a tiny bit longer. All right. Well, then let's move this forward slightly more. Let's see. Can't build on water. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. Well, then if we make this a tiny bit shorter and then do it all the way like this, we can really get quite far. At least we're making use of the space here. I think that is good, but this should be an optional field. Maybe we can assign this to a um, cow shed or something like that at some point. Um, but we still need one extra field, I think, to make this work the way I want it to work. That's basically the thing now. If we go all the way down here, how long will it be? It will be this long. Yes. Too long. No, it's not too long. Right. This is basically what I wanted with the extra field. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't like it where it is. And now we can build the farm out here. So that we have the extra farm here too. Maybe we should build it like this. No, we're going to build it like this. We have six fields that can completely focus on food production. And I think we have room here for some chicken coos. So that could be fun. And what we could also do is just add another gate here. Does not need to be too big. Just a regular gate. And this will just add then to the farming area. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not the right fence. It's always a bit tricky to find the right one, of course. Well, maybe not for most people, but for me it is. All right, let's just go like this so that we really have the whole feel of the farm field like that. 
Uh, let's move over the farm so that it's at least ready for the next year. It doesn't have to be ready straight off, but now it should be ready for the next year. Let's get some carts in here. They can also do regular deliveries. They can also supply for construction, but I want them at least 70% filled. So that's better. All right, one build, two build. Number three is coming in already. So let's get people in here. Let's make sure we get some men that actually work and we'll do the same here. Let's get men in there. So now we have jobs. Plenty of job. This is filled. This is filled. We still have males available. So it is working out, but it's also taking some time. These houses get done now. I think it's time to also plan some extra housing soon. But in the end, we're also going to need all of these structures. And although we're not going to fill them out straight, I do want to build them already so that at least they're out of the queue and I can see a little bit better what we're going to do. So I'm, I'm going to keep them right now. Ooh, this was not sewn in that fast. Look at that. Or it was out of nutrients, who knows. I think it was that. Yeah, it needs the orange nutrients and it was completely out. Can it actually go together with hemp? Oh, the hemp uses 10% and this is... Alright, so that's the problem. That's why it's not growing that good. Alright, so I made a mistake there. We should just focus on sunflowers then. Or the hemp. Hmm. We need the hemp for clothing. But we also get hemp here. Alright, so let's get the hemp out of this field soon. And that should fix the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, well, that should do it soon. Here comes another house. Luckily, they're really fast at building these houses if you build small houses there. So that works. And in terms of money, we're good. In terms of food, we are still good. Yeah. We have most stuff that we actually want to have. So that is fine. And all the other goods. I'm not worrying about it. I am not worrying about it. Everybody can reach the markets, as far as I can tell. So no issues there. They have all the stuff they need to sell. Maybe some warm clothing, but we'll get that at some point. And at least now we can buy some broth cloth. Let's make a deal. And that will actually help us to make sure that we... Ooh, can we sell salt? No, we don't have salt works yet. Ah, that's something to get. With the broth cloth, we can make warm clothing if we also have some sheepskin. I don't think we have that yet, but we should be able to get that at some point. At least we now get the broth cloth in. These get the hand in now so they can start to work on textiles and make clothing. We have a village house done. All right. There's a new family in and here will also be a new family. Then now they continue at this farm. As soon as this is done, we have to get the uh, hemp out and just do the um, sunflowers in order to get good sunflower production. I think we have to make uh, the next year a fallow field though and do it like this so that it can regain its nutrients. Otherwise, I don't think it will be that good. This also needs a fallow field now. Oh, but then, yeah, we do it like this. Because otherwise they will do the same together. That's not what I want. A new family is settling in town. Another nice family. Young kids they have. That's always a good sign. Because then it will take a while before they get married. So we can get more new families in. Something I always love. That uh, you can have more new families in. Except instead of just people moving from house to house. That's basically what happens if they get married. You just have somebody living in another house. And he's moving into the next house. All right, what do we have planned here? Oh, two other houses. So they're going to get in soon. Then we can start to plan this area out too, I think. They're all there. And this farm should help out put a few ladies to work. Yeah, that will be good. Oh, we did buy some extra animals, of course, but they all went in here. Interesting. Let's get a couple of ladies in here. There we go. They now should get all the food and water reserves that we need. Yes, 100, 200. There we go. All right, let's pause and now do it like this. One, two. I really wish there would just be a way to uh, do this quickly by just selecting them with a selecting box and then move them all at once. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. Now five should be brought into this one. Then they can also use a fallow field, so they'll probably just go to the next field again. Yep, all right. But this is better. These got quite a few babies, but uh, all bulls, so there's going to be some slaughtering. Or we will use them soon enough for the um, salt works, if we can get that up as well. Still have to find where the salt is, though. All right, let's move this over to uh, the right farm. Then we have six fields here now. All right, I do want a manager and workers, of course. Let's set it up. Six, seven. And then we're going to get buckwheat and potatoes. But buckwheat and potatoes. Yes, messenger, I will check you soon. You are the messenger from Balaklia, which is nice. All right, let's pause. Let's see what he has. Oh, some more stone. We don't have that much money at this moment, so um, probably best to not buy these stones right now. Let's continue with this. Buckwheat and potatoes. Buckwheat and potatoes. Maybe we should also do some weed here. And then we can do buckwheat with that. Fellow weed, buckwheat. And then here, buckwheat and weed. So at least we get a lot of weed. Let's activate all the fields. That will be helpful too. Yes, so all the fields are activated. And then we can also get some windmills here. Problem is we wanted to do some chicken coos here. But maybe we can do the chicken coos somewhere here then. Or maybe somewhere here. I do want these mills close to the um, to the entrance of this area, actually. And close to where the weed is. So that should be here. Then we will build a small granary here to store the weed in. And then the flower can go to other places. All right. I'm well, just going to let the queue run because I want those buildings up and running. Ah, look at this. These are very tight houses. But that's precisely how I wanted to see it at this point. So that we save some space. Very interesting. And yeah, now we have sufficient jobs for everybody again. Maybe we should get into fishing soon. That could also be a worthwhile endeavor. Um, did we build a bridge somewhere already? I don't think so. I think we should also start to think about bridges at some point so that we know where they will be. Maybe one here and then maybe one somewhere here or, some, or something like this. Then we know how far the houses can go and then we can also start to plan some fisheries or something. There's just so many things to do. But hey, that's the whole fun part of this game. You can just make all these amazing different towns. And I just love it. Alright, now the actual hard part comes. Because now I want to make a mirror image of this town. I guess we have to do it somewhat like this then. To make a white road here because I like that. Let's rotate this slightly. And let's try... And build... Somewhat of a mirror image of what we have here. Well, this is uh, the first part. Then at the back side of this, look at this. And then we hit F1. And I think this could go just the width of the two houses, like this. This should go wider, of course. That's what we did on the other side as well. Too long. Alright, I think we need to do it a bit like this and then shorten this one slightly. Uh, no. No, 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 no. This should be slightly longer. This one should be a little shorter, maybe. I don't know. I want the house to be kind of in the middle. So like this, I guess. So we'll do it. There we go. We're still losing money. What's happening with the economy? Okay, everything is set to good rates, so that should not be too much of a problem. Can we sell some goodies already? No, but... 
I thought we were also selling sunflower oil. And that's what we're going to do now. Let's get sunflower oil in. Let's start selling that. Because it makes good money. 90 for only 500. And that's what I want to sell right now. We'll keep the rest. We don't need anything yet. So... Do we need iron? Yeah, we could use a bit of iron. Not too much, but a bit. Alright, there we go. So much work to be done. Alright, ooh, we got two up already. Well, let's do apply to all. Oh, this one is not done yet. We'll wait for it. Just needs to be one builder to finish off this hole in the roof. And now that it's snowing, all the snow is in sight. At least that will be the case in real life. Which is funny because now it's not the case, of course. But uh, could be so interesting. All right, there we go. Yep, they're already bringing in hay. And I think we have ladies to go in here. So let's start with that. So at least they can start to fill it up. And I believe, yeah, we have a nine-month pool already. That could go into one of the others already, I think. And then we can just spread out a few cows. All right, they have food and water in here. So let's do one, two, three. That's it, that's it. And then we're going to save this bull. We need that bull. And then we also need to slaughter a couple. But let's see how well we can do in, in, in spreading it out and see if we can really fill up the... Uh, place there. Alright, they're now busy with another weaver and things like that so I can keep focusing on these houses for now. Uh, let's rotate this now then. Alright, hit the F1 button. I think this should go a little bit more like this. Yes. How did I do it right there? Ah, I just... I did not change them that much, actually. Oh, let's try that. Can we do that? Yeah. Apparently, I just need to rotate them a bit then. That I don't have to change them up that much. Now, I do want to change them up a bit. Yeah, something like this. And then I'll rotate the house slightly. Alright, that's one. And then... Yeah, the house is in the way. I know. But that's the next problem to solve, not the first. First, we need to do it like this. Yes. All right. It's not perfect, but hey. It's something. And I'm happy with it. That's, I guess, the main case. I'm happy with it. That's already a good start. Alright, that's another one. And now we straight hit the F1 button. And we'll just go like this. Now we can make this... No, we need a big entrance road, I think. Alright, there it is. One complete neighborhood. This should be looking rather fancy, I think. And from here on, we can continue. It's a lot of houses, though. And no wells in yet, so we need to get them some water. Alright, two wells. Let's put those in a bit early so that we don't get too many houses that need other wells. These people... Oh, they just got in. Nice, they got married and now they're in the house. They just need to get some food. Now the market is quite far out, so we might need to get a new market at some point. But I think for now this is reachable. And, ah, they built everything here now. Let's see, how much hemp and stuff do we have? 200 hemp. Yeah, so we don't need to put people in, in these businesses yet. But at least it's all showing now. So now we know where everything is. We know where it's going to go. And we can start to plan it out even further later on. I like that. That's what I want to see. And that's sometimes tough because it's not always fun to watch them build all those things. 
that you're not using yet, but it gives good insight into how big an area is, how much you want in there and stuff like that. All right, 750. Can be filled in different ways. Worker can use a card, of course, why not? Now, come on, let's make this done so I can just do apply to all. That would be nice. They're delivering goods to the next building thing, but ah, it's done now. All right, apply to all. Let's get the mails in there. A messenger from Balaka. We keep getting the same guy in all the time. Well, let's send a little bit of this. Let's sell a little bit of this. Still wondering, though, financially, why we are doing so poorly. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, well. For now, it's okay. We can maybe raise the house rent a bit. Wealth tax is pretty okay. They just need to acquire some wealth and then they will start to pay some wealth taxes. Ah, here comes the granary that I wanted up. For all the uh, weed. Now, this is not the most efficient granary in terms of materials used to build it and how much it can store. You can better build the other granary, but this is just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, yeah, let's go to next then, apparently. Let's make that a fallow field. And now this farm will start to produce for the first year. I don't think we have a lot of laborers anymore, so... That might be a real issue. But I have a solution for that. Let's go to this. Let's see if we can get a counselor. Yes, manage seasonal hiring. And then I'm going to go to this building and tell them that in the off-season it will only have two people. That will be March and April and September and October apply to all um, now what th that does of course if you know then you don't have to listen but if you don't then this is what it does this will make it so that on all the months that have this little icon on it it will have seven people in it in the ones that don't it will only have two people in it so as soon as the sewing season starts these people will be freed up they can do labor jobs for a month and they can help out with all the sewing. And I'm actually going to do that with this too right now. Just for the sewing and the harvest. Because I just need to get as many people on the sewing as possible. So as soon... Another from Balakli. We get the same ones all the time. Get me somebody else. Alright, so we should see them having fewer people in here soon. One bull, two cows. Well, at least he should be able to reproduce. One, two, three, four, five actual cows in there. So it's also not a lot. There's six in the... Two, one, two three, four, five in here too. Alright, there they go. Now the farms will be able to hire people and they can start sowing in real fast. And once that's done, we get the most food out of the fields. That's exactly what I want. So... This is uh, going the right way. 11, 7, 3 and 0. But these can then have no people in them, of course, because we don't need them. And then soon enough, once the month is over, all these people will go back to their respected jobs. And we will only have four builders now, yes, but they can still continue, so that's good. And in the end, we will reap the benefits from it. Getting more food out of it. Maybe some more stuff that we can sell. I'm very tempted to send out a messenger to Dekarchi, but it's so costly. I don't want to waste a messenger on that. And then see that we can only sell so much. It's, it's the most um, expensive town to send a messenger to. And I don't want to waste my money on that right now. It's a bit sad, I know, but... Oh, well. I'm Dutch, so I'm cheap. Alright, this field's sewn in. This is not going to be sewn in. This is now being sewn in. This should be sewn in, and this should be sewn in. These can't really hire a lot of people, but this one should almost be ready, I think. Growing, growing, growing. There's already four fields growing. There's just two more that need sewing in. Yep, they hired all the people that they have to to come finish the sewing. And now these can start to hire. So just freeing those people actually really works now i'm starting to doubt yeah it also did april i'm going to put that off 
So in April they'll all go back and we can get back to uh, starting to really, really build. And this should be over fairly quickly. Another village house is done. Nice. Yep, this is almost done. Just the one guy is now done too. This just... Yep, these hired all the people that they need. And now the next month everybody will go back to their regular jobs. And we have all the farms sewn in almost in the first month. Um, it's just that this needs a little bit more sewing. That's going to be done in April, but the rest is already done. I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with this. All the fields are growing and it's just the start of April. Now we can immediately see a lot of builders back here again, so the houses should be speeding up again. Oh man, I'm happy with this. This is good. New family settling in town. Nice family. Most welcome. Or well, any family is welcome, of course. But uh, this looks like a really nice family. All right. What type of trees did I plant here? Maple trees. Ah, yeah. The messenger from the Karchi. Let's sell some charcoal. I'm not going to sell buckwheat. Let's sell 143 sunflower oil. And 803 of that. Do we need iron? Yes. We actually need a lot of iron. We should be making good money on the charcoal. I'm happy with that. That should actually be quite good. Alright, we planted maple trees there. So we're going to continue with the maple trees. Now we're going to leave this little square open then. But then this street should just have maple trees. Now it's always quite a bit of work to decorate a whole town. And I sometimes don't take enough time for it, simply because I think, oh well, it's a bit boring. Sorry, a little cough there. I had to uh, turn the mic off, of course. I could not play. Um, sometimes I think it's a bit boring to watch me decorate this, but I know some of you also really enjoy it. So um, that's why I still really try to, to, to work on the decorations as well and put my own feelings about it being boring to watch aside. Because I think it is also really fun to see a town being truly, really decorated. So we'll do our best about it. There we go. And I guess in this area, there could also be a couple of bushes. So we don't see the warehouse too much in this area. This, of course, is the market area. And we get the trees up here. I guess people also could use a couple of benches out here. Just next to their houses and things like that. Maybe a bit here in the shade. This is for the ones that love the sun. Alright. Let's make sure that everybody knows that these areas are here and that they're separate areas. So that's where the bushes come in. Here the people can really sit and enjoy. And we've done a little bit of extra decorating. Alright, there we go. As they're just busy building the houses. So why not kill the time a bit more by putting up some extra decorations? I love to get good amounts of trees in, so let's do that. A while ago I would not gotten so many trees in, but uh, I'm starting to enjoy that more and more, having trees on the whole area and making sure that people can actually have a have a place to really sit and relax and things like that. This looks a bit weird. That's not how it's supposed to look. Um, because it just stands out from the building. That's not right. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so still lots more work to do, of course. I always do it in little batches, but there we go. At least some of the decorations are up. Messenger from Balaklia again. Well, we should be getting some money in soon. 
But still, nothing else to sell to them. So that ain't happening. This area looks fun. So that's good already. I think we should do something in here. But I don't know which tree to use. Oh, the pine trees. So I'm going to start off with one tree right here. And then basically what we're going to do is go like this. In a little triangle shape. And the interesting thing is we can just follow the road for it. So that's easy. Then in the middle here, we can do it a bit like this. It's like some sort of a gathering area. And then uh, I really love these lilac bushes. They give so much color to your town. There we go. That's another area decorated. It takes them some time to plant all the trees. We should not do this too often because there is a risk them just being busy with all that. That they're not producing wood anymore. But we um, should also not take that risk too big. Especially in the beginning it can be an issue. But later on, especially if you have more foresters, it will be fine. And they will not run out of their stuff that fast. So it should be okay. New family is settling in town. That's the message we want. And this is a great family. Six people joining up. Messenger from Mirefa brought cloth, but we still have a lot, so why get more? Yeah, we can't sell anything to them, so that's okay. We'll leave it at this. What if we were to get a salt works? Can go in this area somewhere. Or maybe somewhere up here. Could be interesting to place it somewhere up there. Actually, I think I'm just going to plan it here now. Oops, misclicked. So that we can get it going. And uh, make a whole area out of it. So this should be the salt works then. There we go. Let's fence off the... Uh, now, the salt works is really not a very nice business, I guess. So I think we should put a good fence around it. So that people can't really uh, watch all the gross stuff that comes out of this. Now this also needs charcoal to work, I believe. Does it? No, it needs uh, salt works to turn the salt to evaporate by heat. Yeah, see, it needs charcoal. Sometimes I start to doubt myself about these things. Well, I just know that they need it anyway. Uh, how should we place this? I think like this. One. Two. Three. Let's just make sure they have plenty. Let's start working on the fence here. Uh, then it also needs a storage, of course, to store its goods. Um, but that could be a little bit more to the front so that they can get that out quickly. It also needs hay and water for the animals that will live in here. Now that might be something that we could put on this side. So let's build a hay barracks here. And we'll also build a well here. Then they can get that stuff from right here. Oh, I like the idea. All right, let's stretch this a bit, but not too much. Something like this. Yes, and then... Here we have a saltworks area. 
Oh, I think I will love this. Messenger from Derkachi. The good one. All right, let's sell some charcoal. Make some extra money. 177. That's good. Can we sell some more honey? Not really. At least not a lot. We are doing harvest now. That's great. And that's basically all that we need at this point. So let's just run the game as it is. And let's take a look here because they have built quite a few houses. Yes, this part is now taking shape too. I love it. All right. Well, we have done quite the works. We've made changes. This whole new farming area is up. Extra houses here. We are now busy with these salt works. I guess from here on out, it might be just speed two a lot on the next episodes. Just to slow things down a bit. And we have the basics going now. I do really love this town and I'm happy that I'm creating this. I hope you do too. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps me. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. That's a big help as well and also totally free. And then of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you so much and bye bye.